Good day mga future engineers. So, yung topic natin ngayon para sa continuation ng uh, fluid property. So, this is part 2 is surface tension. So, yung parang references natin, fluid mechanics, uh, fourth edition by Frank M. White, then engineering fluid mechanics, ninth edition by Elger. And, ah, okay, so hindi ko pala nasama na. So, may mga problems ako na uh, ginagawa ko ding reference yung libro ni uh, Dit Gelasanya, Fluid Mechanics and Hydraulics. Okay, so yung surface tension is uh, para siyang uh, skin or film na nagpo-form sa liquid surface natin dahil dyan sa nakasura si screen na intermolecular cohesive forces of fluid. Okay. So, yung makita nyo dito sa picture natin, yung insect. Yes, ayan. So, nakakatungtong siya, nakakalakad siya dun sa liquid surface. Dahil kaya siya dalin ng surface tension. So, ganun din yung, okay, yung next picture natin. Okay. Yeah, so, even yung needle. Okay. So, pwede siya mag-float sa, sa liquid surface because of surface tension. Okay. So, yung surface tension natin, ang symbol natin is uh, yung sigma. Okay. Sigma. So, ang unit natin dito is in newton per meter. So, per meter length ng nung imaginary film natin. Okay. So, for example, Dito sa ano natin, uh, meron tayong capillary tube. Then, yung capillary action natin is yung pag-rise nung, nung liquid. Dahil sa pag-rise or fall nung liquid no, because of... Um, so, pwede kasi magkaroon tayo ng, in this case, adhesion. So, parang kumakapit yung, yung liquid natin doon sa surface natin. Okay. So, meron din namang cohesion. So, katulad dito naman sa uh, sa example na to. Okay. So, try natin i-solve yung uh, or i-derive yung formula para dito sa capillary action. So, by the way, itong delta H natin, ang tawag natin dito is capillary rise. Ayan. So, yung pag-angat nung, uh, nung, nung liquid dahil nga sa surface tension natin. So, normally, ma, ma, mapapansin natin yan kapag maliliit yung mga diameters natin. So, mga, mas madali siya makita mga 3 mm siguro or less. So, solve natin. So, for example, for uh, solving for the value nitong capillary rise, given your surface tension. Okay. So, kaya ito umaangat na ganun dahil kaya umangat yung, yung volume ng liquid na ito dahil na ito. Okay, so, meron, magkakaroon tayo dito ng volume. Okay, yung volume yan. Okay. So, kaya siya maangat kasi nadadala nga siya. Kaya siya yung dali nitong surface tension natin. So, paikot siya, no? Paikot siya dun sa, dito sa tube natin. Okay. So, yung surface ay yung force natin yung force due to surface tension is simply equal dun sa uh, length ng contact nung liquid natin doon sa tube so kung cylindrical to yung tube natin so yung point of contact kung saan nakakapit yung liquid natin is yung perimeter 
So, yung perimeter natin is simply equal dun sa ating pi times nung uh, case is small case pi times diameter. Okay? Then, yung surface tension nga natin, sigma, is newton per meter. So, for every meter length, so, ito nga yung uh, meron siyang certain amount na force na kaya niyang dalin. So, multiply natin to ng uh, surface tension natin, sigma. Okay. So, anong unit nito? Unit ng, so, let's say, ang unit ng diameter natin, convert natin sa meter. Ang unit nito, surface tension natin is newton per meter. So, makakancel yung meter and may iwan yung newton, which is yung force. Okay. So, ito yung force due to surface tension. So, ano nga yung dinadal nitong... Uh, and by the way, since uh, depende sa, uh, sa surface and sa liquid, so, meron tayong... Uh, okay, itong mata natin dito. Itong angle theta. Okay. So, yun yung uh, contact angle natin. Okay, so, again, depende yun sa liquid and sa surface. Okay, so, if meron tayo in this example, meron tayong angle theta. Okay. So, yung, uh, yung weight natin is downwards, vertical. So, ang kukunin lang natin is yung vertical component din itong uh, surface tension natin, which is equal to, uh, i-rewrite ko lang to. Vertical component niya. So, nandito din yung angle. So, this angle theta is yung nandito din. Okay. So, yan din yung angle theta natin. So, meron tayong uh, zoom ko lang. Okay. So, naka-form tayo dito ng triangle. Tapos, palitan ko lang ang kulay. Right triangle. Okay. Parang pangat yung red. Tapos yung gawin kong green. So, nandito yung right triangle natin. Then, meron nga tayong angle theta dito. So, ito yung vertical component. No. Ito yung vertical component ng surface tension natin. Which is equal to ah uh, if ito yung F sigma, so yung uh, ito din is ito, itong black na to, and then yung F sigma. So, itong vertical component natin is equal to yung F sigma natin cosine ng angle theta. Okay? So, yun yung vertical component. So, balik tayo dito. So, kung meron nga tayong angle theta, then yung vertical component natin is yung force due to surface tension times cosine theta. Then, ito na, uh, this will be also equal to uh, pi d sigma. So, tatagyan natin ng cosine theta. Okay. Pero itong, from, from this figure nga, no? So, if this is yung weight, so, equal yung weight natin sa vertical component ng surface tension natin. Okay? So, again, from this figure, yung surface tension natin, vertical component, so, may cosine theta tayo dyan. So, that is equal dun sa weight. But, yung weight natin is, kung natin makakuha yung weight. So, that is simply equal dun sa unit weight times volume. So, yung, again, yung weight is unit weight times volume. Kasi, di ba, recall natin last video na uh, yung unit weight is equal sa, ang, 
ang unit ng unit weight is yung uh, again, unit weight is equal to weight over volume okay so solving for weight so lipat lang natin yun doon so yun na nga yung unit weight times volume okay so paano natin kunin yung volume so yung yung area so meron meron tayong cylinder nga dito so yung area times nung height natin or yung capillary rise so let's say ano na lang to simplify pa natin gawin na lang natin h okay so yung f cosine theta natin okay is equal to uh, Again, pi d sigma cosine theta is equal to yung weight natin na unit weight times volume. And yung volume natin is area times no height h. Pero saan equal yung area natin? Yung area natin is, in terms of diameter, is pi over 4 diameter squared times no height h. So, simplify natin. Okay, so pwede natin alisin yung pi. Alisin natin isang diameter. Okay. So, solving for itong capillary rise H natin. Okay, so unay ko na yun. So, this is equal to. So, yung capillary rise H is equal to sigma cosine theta. So, tataas natin dun yung 4. So, magiging 4 sigma cosine theta okay over so na may iwan dito so bababa natin ito mapupunta sa denominator tong unit weight and yung isang diameter so unit weight times diameter okay so ito yung general formula natin para sa capillary rise pero kapag Water to glass ang pinag-uusapan natin. Okay. So, move muna tayo dito. Pag water and glass ang pinag-uusapan kasi natin. Uh, let's say, ito yung ating yung wall ng yung glass. Okay. So, naka-vertical dito yung water natin. So, saka siya magiging uh, flat dito sa bandang gitna. Okay. So, yung angle theta natin dito, yung contact angle natin is 0. Okay. So, for glass in, uh, in water in glass, for your water in glass, cosine theta, if theta is 0, so that is 1. So, H natin will be simplified to Capillary rise H simply equal to 4 sigma over unit weight and diameter. Again, this is for uh, water and glass. Okay. So, paano naman yung formula natin para dito sa uh, spher spherical droplet? So, drop. Ito naman is bubble. So, kung mapapansin natin dito. Okay. So, kapag droplet, so sabihin isang uh, spherical na tubig, so, ang surface lang natin is yung nasa labas. Okay. So, pinagkaiba nyo dito sa spherical bubble is dalawang surface natin. Meron tayong surface sa labas. And since may hangin din tayo sa loob, so, meron din tayong surface dito sa loob. Okay. So, yung, uh, yung length ng surface na i-consider natin is doble dito sa spherical bubble kumpara dito sa droplet. Okay. So, again, yung, surface na, yung length na kinoconsider natin is yung perimeter nung... Okay. Okay. So, nandito yung ating yung mga, yung force natin. Yung force due to surface tension. So, paikot yan. So, pagdating dito sa droplet, ah, or, I mean, sa bubble, 
dalawa lang yan. Matadoble lang yan. So, mata times 2. So, normally, ang hinahanap dyan is yung pressure sa loob ng ating uh, spherical droplet or bubble. So, try natin i-derive. Okay. So, given yung, let's say, meron tayong, uh, in terms of, of diameter na lang ulit. In terms of diameter. So, assuming na same diameter sila dito. Okay. So, disregard natin yung thickness nung, ano, nung, uh, nung bubble natin. Kasi nap manipis lang yan, oh. So, negligible na yung effect niyan. So, dito, kinapal na lang para mas, mas makita lang natin. Okay. So, solving for pressure sa... Ah, sa loob ng droplet natin. Okay. So, meron tayong force due to surface tension. Paikot dito nga. Then, force din para mag-equilibrium tayo. So, sabi, meron din tayong um, force na papunta dun sa gitna. Na maka-apply naman dito sa area na to. Okay. So, yung total force due to na ng surface tension natin will be equal dun sa force na nag dito sa again, dito sa area na to. So, force dito sa area, over area, is pressure. Okay? So, maganda isulat. Okay. Again, um, yung force na to is equal sa force due to surface tension. Okay? Then, yung pressure is equal to force over area. But again, yung force natin is yung uh, force due to surface tension. Again, sun equal yung force due to surface tension. So, yung surface tension sigma natin times nung length nung surface. So, yung length surface is uh, circular pa rin yan. So, perimeter. Pi times diameter. Then, over area. Area natin is pi over 4. Diameter squared. Okay? So, pwede ulit tayo mag-cancel. Cancel natin yung pi. Diameter over diameter squared. So, cancel yung isang diameter doon. Then, uh, Pag minultiply natin to ng force sa numerator and force sa denominator. So, parang wala lang yan, ba? Kasi equal yan sa 1. So, pwede na natin i-cancel itong pi over 4. So, may iwan yung 4 dito. Ah, yung, yung 4 dito sa pi over 4. So, may iwan na yung 4 dito sa numerator natin. So, solving for pressure. That is equal to for sigma over diameter. Okay. So, this is for spherical droplet. So, paano nga kung spherical bubble? So, matadobili lang naman tong area natin. Ano na? Matadobli yung ating length. Okay. So, ito yung length natin kanina, ba? Okay, sorry. Maging gala yung kulay. Ito yung length, no? Ito yung perimeter. Okay, no, consider natin. So, ngayon, since dalawa na yung surface natin, so, dalawang perimeter na i-consider natin. Nasa labas and yung nasa loob na um, practically equal lang sila. So, dahil nga ineneglect natin yung thickness ng bubble natin. So, mamumultiply ito ng 2. So, i-rewrite ko na lang. Yung pressure is equal to 2 sigma pi d. Ito yun. So, nagkaroon lang ng 2. Over yung area. Same area pa rin, pi over 4 d squared. So, makakansel lang ulit yung isang diameter. Yung pi. Then, ito, pag itinaas natin doon, magiging 8 lang. Uh -huh. 
a sigma over diameter. So, mas malakas pala ang pressure sa loob ng bubble. Same diameter, the same liquid. So, mas malakas ang pressure sa loob kapag bubble siya as compared kung uh, isang droplet siya. Napuno ng liquid din sa loob. Okay? Okay, so para sa bubble. Okay, so let's have an example. So, ito yung mga ano, no, table natin para sa contact angle. Okay, yung different uh, liquid container combination natin. So, mercury, mercury and glass is 140 degrees. Okay, so kung titignan natin kasi dito sa, yan, so dito sa picture na nasa baba. So, di ba, um, Kanina nga, uh, kung ito yung wall, kung ito yung wall ng ano natin, o container. Then, kung ito yung liquid. Kung tayong tangent line. So, angle theta, same angle theta doon. Okay. So, may nagsisimula tayo dito sa vertical. Uh, then, papunta doon sa side. So, dito, Kung mapansin natin, ganito siya. Ganon. Okay. Ayan. So, let's see ganyan. So, mula dito ngayon sa vertical, papunta rito. So, yan daw is 140 degrees. Okay. So, yun yung ay, ayan. So, yung pinapakita dito sa table natin. So, kung ano yung given sa problem, so refer lang tayo dito. And yung, yung surface tension natin is nagbabago. Tulad ng density natin, ng unit weight, depende doon sa temperature natin. Okay, so meron tayong table dito. Galing din to kay uh, Frank M. White, Flu Fluid Mechanics. Okay, so ito yung reference natin. Okay. So, dito tayo sa example natin. Okay. So, disregard lang natin itong number na to. So, to one height above the reservoir level, will water at 20 degrees Celsius rise in a glass tube? Such as shown, uh, that shown in the figure. Okay. So, given yung diameter na 1.6 millimeter. Okay, so from the table, uh, i-correct lang natin ito. No? So, do sa table kasi natin, that is at 20 degrees Celsius. Para mas accurate yung ating uh, computation. 0 0.0728. Okay. So, 0 0.0728. Let me rewrite ko lang. Newton per meter. Okay. So, kung alam natin yung formula, direct substitution lang naman. Okay. Para sa capillary rise natin, water glass, 4 sigma over unit weight diameter. Pero kung makalimutan natin, kasi given na lahat dito eh. Okay. So, doon sa problem sa baba, meron tayong, uh, meron tayong bali nito, meron ng diameter, and yung unit weight ng water, galing pa rin dun sa, <coughs> so wala dito yung table. So, anyway, sa next, ano na lang. So, ayan. So, galing din to sa... Okay. So, wala nga dito. Galing din to kay Frank M. White. Itong 9790 Newton per cubic meter. So, ulitin ko lang po, no? Last week, ah, uh, last video. Last week lang. Last video, so, yung standard na unit weight ng water natin na 9810 Newton per cubic meter or... Mas madalas natin ginagamit 9.81. Okay. 
kilonewton per cubic meter. So this is at 4 degrees Celsius. So since 20 degrees tayo, ito yung gagamitin natin. Okay, so again, kung alam natin formula, direct substitution lang, pero ano yung gagawin natin pag nakalimutan? So balikan lang natin yung concept na um, yung yung surface tension natin, yung force due to surface tension is dinadala niya yung so itong force due to surface tension natin na paikot yan okay, so paikot doon sa perimeter or doon sa contact surface natin so dinadala niya lang naman yung weight itong volume na to ng liquid okay. so meron tong weight na pababa so from this figure so since yung contact angle natin kapag water and glass is zero okay so etong surface tension natin sa ka vertical na to ka vertical na yan okay so again paikot to paikot okay so we can say na ito na lang force due to surface tension is simply equal dun sa ating weight. And, saan ulit equal tong force due to surface tension? So, yung perimeter or yung length ng contact, which is in this case yung perimeter. So, perimeter natin is pi times diameter. So, give me diameter na 1.6 mm. So, in meter, that is 0 0.0016. Okay. Okay, so ito length, pi d times yung sigma. Okay, sulat mo na ulit. Mm, pi d times yung sigma. So ito na yung pi, ito yung d. Yung sigma natin given at 0 0.0728. Newton per meter. So, this is equal to yung weight. So, again, yung weight natin is unit weight. Ito. Unit weight natin is unit weight nung liquid times its volume. So, unit weight given na at 9790. Okay. 9790. Uh, that is Newton per cubic meter times volume. So, volume natin is, again, air, volume ng cylinder is area nung nasa taas times nung height. Okay. So, area natin is pi over 4 times nung diameter na 0 0.0016 meter squared. times yung height natin. So, ito yung hinahanap. Ayan ulit yung sabi dun sa tanong. To what height above the reservoir level? So, ito na nga yun. From ito yung reservoir level natin, gano'n daw siya tataas papunta dun. Ayan, Z. Okay. So, i-simplify natin Tanggalin ko na yung pi. Diameter, diameter square. So, tanggalin ko yung isang diameter natin. Okay. So, eto ngayon. Tsaka eto. Dadali lang natin dun sa denominator. Okay. Then, eto naman na sa denominator. Mapupunta siya dun sa numerator sa kabila kapag nilipat natin. So, solving for h, yung height. So, this is 4 times nung uh, surface tension natin na 0 0.0728 newton per meter. So, over nitong 9790 newton per meter 
diameter cube then times diameter 0 point zero point zero zero one six meter okay so this a formula natin for sigma is uh, over unit weight and diameter so kakancel yung newton okay so itong meter na to kasi pwede natin i-combine siya dito eh so magiging meter squared so meter squared over meter cube so makakancel na yung dalawang meter magiging 1 na lang to meter okay then parang i-multiply lang naman natin to ng unit na baka malito kasi nalilito kasi iba no so parang i-multiply lang natin to ng meter multiply mo din ng meter tong denominator so meter over meter is cancel lang so, pwede mo nang i-cancel ngayon to. Okay. Yan ang may iwan nating unit is in meter. Okay. So, solve natin. Okay. So, for 0 0.0728 divided by 0 0.790 times 0, 0.0 Zero one six. Okay. So yung height natin, height h is equal to zero point zero one eight five nine meter or pag dinivide ah uh, pag multiply natin ng 1000 this is 18 point 59 millimeter okay so tingnan natin tong ating uh, last example for for this video Okay. So, galing naman to kay, ganun pa rin, kay fluid mechanics uh, for the addition uh, ni Frank M. White. So, a thin wire ring, uh, which is 3 cm in diameter, is lifted from water. So, parang, parang itong nasa previous, ano natin yun, illustration. Okay. Ito. So, neglecting the wire weight, uh, what is the force required to lift the ring? Okay. So, meron nga ito tayong ring. Okay. So, meron mag-drawing. Kasi nagsusulat ako sa baba, pero nakatingin ako dun sa monitor. Okay. Then, meron tayong... So, since ring to, so dalawa yung surface na i-consider natin, no? Okay, so parang gaganyan yung liquid dyan, magkabilang side. Ito dito sa kabilang side. Kasi ganun din dito. So, meron tayong um, surface tension dito sa loob. Then, meron din tayong surface tension dun sa kabilang side, sa labas. So, magpasensya na nyo na yung drawing. So, given yung diameter na 3 cm or gawin natin in meter 0 0.03 meter. Okay. So, again, ang hinahanap is the force required to lift the ring. Uh, so, baliktad pala to. Mm -hmm. Try ko nga tong Okay, so I have Okay, 
Okay, so again, so tingin natin. So sabi kasi dito, thin wire ring. So negligible na yung, yung thickness niya, yung, yung kapal mismo ng wire. So yung inside saka outside diameter natin is, i-consider natin na equal na. Okay, so bali, ililift nga siya. So sig siguro nakatali ito. Okay, so let's say may mga string dyan. Then, nililift siya pataas. Uh, may siyang force na pataas. Then, syempre, dahil nga may surface tension tayo, uh, parang nakakapit yung liquid natin dun sa ating uh, ring. Okay. Okay, so, again, da dalawang side dapat yan. Okay, so yung force required, force F required, is equal to sa force due to surface tension na equal dun sa um, twice nung perimeter kasi nga again, ring, open tong gitna may surface sa, sa loob may surface tayo sa labas uh, twice nung perimeter so, perimeter is pi times diameter times nung surface tension sigma okay so this is 2 pi diameter natin is 0 0.03 meter times no ah so sorry so at 20 degrees celsius pa rin no so same tayo ng surface tension dito sa taas na 0 0.0728 okay so 0 0.0728 newton per meter so makakancel na natin yung unit na meter so may iwan na is yung unit ng force na newton okay so force is equal to that's a calculator. 2 okay, pi times 0 0.03 then 0 0.0728. Okay, so we have 0 0.0137 Newton. Okay, so that's it for uh, this video. So next natin, uh, most likely doon natin sa pressure. Okay. And kung meron kayong mga gustong topics na gustong i-discuss, kahit uh, hindi dito sa fluid mechanics, pwede sa hydraulics, uh, yun yung mas madali kong magagawan if fluid and hydraulics kasi medyo recent pa lang siya na ituro sa FEU. So, kung mga ibang subjects like strength of materials, kaya naman, kaya lang medyo magpe-prepare pa ako. Reviewin ko din ang konti. Baka nakalimutan ko na kasing iba doon. So, yun. But anyway, any topic naman na uh, gusto nyo, i-comment lang. Uh, no pressure naman sa akin na gawin yun. So, kung tingin ko lang ano yung mas marami siguro na magre-request ng same topic. So, yun ang uh, tuon ako ng pansin. Okay, so see you again and aral ng mabuti.